type people avoid the conflicts or showing the negative thoughts or criticism. And that's why working together with Thai, you have to be really diplomatic. Philip, if you want to say hi in Thai, you have to say Sawadi. Sawadi. Yes, that means hello. And if you want to say it in a more polite, you know, like form, you can say Sawadi krab. Sawadi krab. Exactly. The krab makes the sentence more polite. Mm. Now you put your palm together. This is how we greet in Thailand. So you say Sawadi krab. Sawadi krab. Amazing. That's really good. So Eddie Krupp, everyone, coming to you from Bangkok and sitting here with Smoop from Banana Thai Language School, learning a little bit of Thai and getting the Bangkok hacks for the best remote working experience. Right now we're in Bangkok and we're sitting at a co-working called Hive in Thong Lor. Wait, it's actually pronounced Thong Law without TH, just only T. Thong Law. Tong lore. Better, yes. So today we're going to explore a little bit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Explore town. I'm going to be asking Smook a few questions about the best hacks for making Bangkok the best remote working experience. So let's go. Let's do it. It's going to be started. fun. Let's go. Yes. Is this a tuk-tuk? No, this is not tuk-tuk. We call it lot kapo, which is like tuk-tuk, but the seat is not as comfortable as tuk-tuk. So these are specific to the neighborhood? Exactly. Only wow. in Tong Lo and Prom Pong that has this kind of um, taxi. I, I've never seen this in Thailand. That's why you should try. That's why we are here. In the rushing hour, I avoid using taxi as in like a car. Mm -hmm. I rather use, you know, like subway or sky train to avoid uh, the traffic. What about scooter? Scooter, yes, even only in the small street. Why? Because I'm a bit scared, but in the small street, people drive a bit faster and less car, I would say. So that's why I would take a scooter taxi. I've never seen a scooter crash, but maybe I haven't been in Bangkok long enough. Me neither, actually, I've never seen. I end up on a grab bike, even though I know it's a little bit dangerous. Yeah, grab bike is so convenient. What's the neighborhood called again? This neighborhood is called Tong Law. Tong Lor. Exactly. The yes. whole time I've been saying Tong Lor. I like this neighborhood because it's there's this charm. Yeah. And it's just the easy part of Bangkok. Mm -hmm. It's not too crazy. But you know, this area at night, it's a party area. Really? Yeah, for young Thai people. Like, we come here to party a lot. Oh. I love how you have the tropical fruit on every corner. It is. It is very convenient, very affordable. And look at this. It's so fascinating. Like they just shop it on spot. Mm. Really good, right? Mm. Thailand fruit is so good. Mm -hmm. Ah, Roy. Exactly. It's good. Mm -hmm. So I think another thing that is really special about working from Bangkok is a big city, is the level of safety compared to other big cities around the world. You don't have to worry about being robbed mm -hmm. or. Actually, I feel very, very safe being here. Like, of course, as like... A, even as a female. Yes, of course, but you know, everywhere has, you know, there are some danger. But if you know where to go, if you don't go really off to the place, you have to observe a bit, and then you see how people are doing. And I think that's why most of the places in Bangkok or Thailand is very safe. Yeah, and I think as far as working from a place, for mm -hmm. me, I really value uh, being in kind of a peaceful zone. Mm -hmm. And not on the edge, not having people honk or yell at you or maybe even being flipping you off or you know in the US people get very angry when they're on the road. The thing is for Thai people it doesn't mean that we're not angry but I think we like to avoid conflict and if it's possible we rather avoid a confrontation. I think this is how it is as in like you know the nature of the local Thai. Well maybe that's why Bangkok uh, in the last month has been ranked like number one or number two mm -hmm. city 
for living remotely or working remotely? Well, there are a lot of reasons why. Let's talk about those. Let's go have coffee. Yes, I think nearby there is like a the place okay. that is, there should be some coffee oh. coffee. Okay. Let's okay. go to the commons. Another reason why uh, Bangkok and Thailand rank so high for a place to work remotely or live, mm -hmm. cost of living. Yeah, it is for sure. It's, it's really good. Everything is affordable. Like for the basic like food, it starts from like 50 baht, which mm -hmm. is around like less than two dollars, and you have a full meal like here. That fruit is only 20 baht. That's like that's like almost, 80 cent or like yeah, 70 cent. Yeah, 75 cents. Yeah, so you can just live very comfortably here. And that it's, little fruit, like in the U.S., at Whole Foods would be. Six dollars. Yeah, that's that's seven. why uh, everyone can access good food very mm -hmm. easily. Of course, but like in Bangkok or big city, you also can spend more for food as well mm -hmm. if you want to, because there are some fine dining or like even Michelin star. There are a lot of of Michelin star food restaurants. Yeah, and a lot of people swear by street food when mm -hmm. they come to Bangkok. Mm -hmm. But the other side is all the wonderful. Dining, fine dining. Exactly. There are lots to discover from like local cuisine to international cuisine. The entertainment is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, what, what do people do in Bangkok for entertainment? We have a lot of walking areas. I think the scene of young people right now, mm -hmm. they are very into art. Taking a photos, a lot of photos and videos. Exploring, you know, different neighborhoods in Bangkok. That is what young people love to do. Coffee, cafe hopping, that, that's more the thing for local. As we grow our business, my business, mm -hmm. uh, we're finding that uh, Thailand's really good for creative mm -hmm. talent. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of creative people. Mm -hmm. I think in Thailand, we, we're so grateful that we have been given the opportunities to, to do different things. Because like, as you can see, Thai people are very entrepreneurial. You can see that from the fruit stand, the lottery uh, right. stands. And that's why we grew up in the mindset of we can just do whatever. Yeah, if we try, we can do anything. You can feel that in the uh, energy. Yeah. Uh, people are resilient. Yeah. Uh, kind of this warm heartedness. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important too when traveling. It's one thing to say people are welcoming. Yeah. But there's a certain level of comfort that Thais have that you don't find in other countries in Asia, like Japan or even Taiwan is more formal. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel that playfulness, mm -hmm. level of comfort with foreigners mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I feel in Thailand. Mm -hmm. I think especially like, you know that Thailand is a tourist destination, one of the biggest, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why there are a big number of foreigners, including tourists, expat, nomad, whatever. And for the big city, for example, Bangkok, who get Samui, Chiang Mai, we feel quite familiar with foreigners, more familiar with other part. The other part will be very excited to see foreigners mm -hmm. or like, oh, somebody who look different or somebody speak other languages. So I think like that makes Thai people feel more excited. And in general, people are very nice here. But you, I think just kind of along that note, it's so important, I think, is a place to live mm -hmm. because I've lived in cultures in mm -hmm. Asia they don't have that level of familiarity with foreigners mm -hmm. and level of comfort. Mm -hmm. It ended up making me feel more isolated, like in Taiwan or mm -hmm. Japan. Thailand, you feel, is a foreigner, even though you may not even know the language until I take more of your lessons. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I feel connected mm -hmm. in the heart. I'm very happy to know that. <laughs> yeah, all right. I get confused often, like when to bow, when to take shoes off, if or not, or when to hug. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, Krup, can you overdo it? Or is it safe just to... Yeah, if you put your palm together and if you say, so what, Krup, 
that's very nice yeah. and fine. You cannot overdo it unless with friends. Okay, mm -hmm. friends. Yeah. Can we hug? Like, you know, the US a lot of times, you, even as guys, we'll skip the handshake and give a hug. Or like exchange you know, the kisses, Americans right? Americans will be like, what's up, bro? Yeah, 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 and yeah. Regular. Yeah. Or the yeah, in Europe, sometimes they do the kiss. Mm -hmm. For Thai people, we kind of keep a little bit of distance. Like, we just like, hey, you know, you can touch people by the shoulder or you, for your friends though. Not all like, you know, just high five or something like that. But I would say hugging might be too close for Thai. Like, we kind of keep distant. When you talk to Thai people, you don't really come very close like this. They will back off. So you keep, I think this is a good distance. I mean, <laughs> I'm Thai, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. even some of my Thai friends, Yeah. Uh, they live in different cities, mm -hmm. and when I see them, my natural instinct is to give a hug, mm -hmm. but I feel there's... Sometimes they might throw, like how to say, they might freeze. They, yeah, so they I might... just don't try. I just know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, nice to see you again. Yeah, I think that's nice. I think that's more like a Thai thing. Or like you can do a high five like okay. this, but no hugging, no hugging. What about when conversing? Because some cultures are touchy. Yeah. Hey, uh, nice. what about Thai? For friend, yes. Okay. But you have to be careful with people who are a little bit older or someone that not really close to you because by using hand to touch head never do that or touching the shoulder, shoulder? never do that oh. yeah for for the people who are older than you okay because upper part here the head especially the head is the highest part of the body okay. and you should not touch anyone's hate just say yeah, yeah that, that's take actually note. a tip yeah yeah take note. that's good to know mm -hmm. let's go to the other mm -hmm. side of the body the feet oh. when do we take our shoes off before i answer this question i want to continue explaining about parts of the body yeah. mentioned earlier head is actually the highest part of the body and feet are the lowest part of the body so in thai you avoid using feet for example, to shut the door with the feet, to grab something with the feet, to whatever with the feet, don't do that. So this is the lowest part. And that's why when you go to someone's house, it's really common for Thai people to take shoes off because we believe that the shoes are dirty, it's part of the lowest part of our body, so that's why we took shoes. We always take shoes off before getting in a house. So don't wear shoes in anyone's house in Thailand. It's a very, very big thing in Thailand, the hierarchy. If you live in Thailand, you might already notice a bit that, you know, there are different levels of formality, politeness, you know? So that's why, like, this is how the society structure us. You have the casual level, like with friends, and you have the formal level with your profession, with work, with your partner, with the governmental officers, for example. And then you also have even higher level. For example, like for monk, we are Buddhists. And then, you know, the loyalist, like the king, then it's more than the highest. So it's like the hierarchy base. Yeah. I feel like elderly are really respected. Exactly. Actually, I didn't forget to mention that part. Yes, very much, pretty much. So seniority, right? Yeah, because when you're, you're in the busy street of Bangkok, You'll see, I don't know if you say auntie or grandma, yeah. on the bicycle. Yeah. And the cars are not trying to rush her yeah. or honk. Very respectful around her. Mm -hmm. We respect the, the seniority. Older people, not only for age, but also for position as well. Mm -hmm. So if you work in the Thai organization, you have to keep in mind that the people who are in the higher position, maybe in the same age as you or a bit younger, you have to also pay respect as your boss or someone that you report to. So not only for age, but also position for, for career. For my company, we have uh, mm -hmm. Thai mm -hmm. on our team. Mm -hmm. And something that they have a little bit of getting used to mm -hmm. is in American culture, we're very direct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're very forward. Mm -hmm. And it's all intended to be better. Mm -hmm. But what I noticed with uh, our Thai uh, people on our team, mm -hmm. they're a little bit uncomfortable with that at first. Mm -hmm. And then after they say they like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up with being direct? Uh, not, not necessarily criticism, mm -hmm. but constructive yeah. debate or yeah. constructive feedback. Yeah. Let's say we were taught to follow the instruction. 
we were taught to behave and respect the rules. And there's always somebody who give the rule and somebody who follow the rule, right? In this case, for example, in the company, you have the boss who give the rule and you have the, you know, the assistant or the team who follow the rule. And because of that, because of how we live, how we learn at school, we were not used to asking question much or criticize or interrupt those who are in a higher position. Yeah, and also another part is Thai people avoid the conflicts or showing the negative thoughts or criticism. And that's why working together with Thai, you have to be really diplomatic. You have to encourage them to speak up. Then they will. But if you don't, they will, they will be a bit like, you know, they will be mindful in a Thai way that, oh, maybe I shouldn't interrupt my boss. I shouldn't criticize my boss. I shouldn't give feedback, even though it could be useful. Yeah, so I think better to encourage them to, to speak up more. What's it like working in Bangkok? I kind of want to see like where people go to lunch. And... Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I actually have an idea. I can take you there. It's like a central business area, a lot of office, and I have a great place for street food, and you will see a lot of, you know, Thai professions or like Thai people, Thai workers. Bangkok, office workers. Exactly. I want to see that. Okay, yeah. should we go? Yeah.